Excellency, first of all, I would like to thank you to be here with us, to share the business situation here and as well as in your country. I personally feel, being an entrepreneur, what we see, few things. Our priority is for the investment. We definitely go to a place we feel secure for ourselves, along with our investment and our future. I heard many a times about Maldiv investment there at different forums as well. Can you share with me that any example, successful example of the joint venture between Pakistan and Maldives? Do we have any on record right now? As our entrepreneur colleague told us something that anybody who want to invest, you said, sir, that we can go for to enjoy the quota policy worldwide. So that, I personally feel we need a strong joint venture for that. A person who has the command in the textile sector here and some person who got the command there. So can you recommend us something or you have any example to please share with us? Thank you very much. I will answer the last question first. Please. Uh, <laughs> the textile industry in the past, uh, we had investors from Sri Lanka who came here, who are either Taiwanese or Koreans, who had established themselves in, uh, in Sri Lanka and with the war and things, they moved on to the Maldives. Mm -hmm. So uh, the government has a one-stop one uh, uh, office where you can deal with this. You don't need a local uh, businessman to be part of it as a joint venture. And in the past, all five uh, garment industries uh, in the Maldives were run independently by themselves, dealing with the government. The government will have to get all the utility bills or, or, or all the government services through the uh, investment bureau you know, we have there. So it's not necessary to have a local investor who will join. First of all, uh, the local investors have no experience in garment industry or business things like that. No? So there is a, there is only very little a person can do by uh, uh, providing facilities and things like that. But if such facilities are going through a businessman, then he has his own interest. Whereas the foreign investment bureau board, they can provide you directly uh, land and places where you don't have to pay a middleman anything else. And uh, th those are given at very nominal rates. Very, very long ago. I mean, you are talking about uh, five, six hundred dollars for the whole land price. So it's a negligible amount because the government wants to get this thing going. They, they are very, very kind and reasonable to help the investors to do that. Uh, to, uh, Pakistan uh, started a business uh, through Hubby Bank. They were the second uh, foreign bank in the Maldives. And according to Hubby Bank's last year's uh, uh, financial reports, the branch they had in Maldives made more money, five times more than New York and Zurich combined. So uh, it's a wonderful story, but they haven't expanded themselves because of restrictions from Karachi, you know, from their head office, who are not allowing them to open branches, whereas the, we were able to uh, start a Maldivian bank with a Bengali association when Habib Bank said, no, we, we cannot make a joint venture because our board won't have We are talking about the Habib Bank Limited, the Pakistan. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure there is too much that we can 